Bonjour, everyone. We're going to Chicken Guy at Disney Springs and to the oh. top of Coke Bar because we have not been there. We haven't been there since it opened, I think. And it's beautiful out. And it is nice out. And okay, there. I, left, I thought I left my sunglasses. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, and then there's like a new thing there where you can get like a buy a cup and then you get refills or something. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What is it? You know more about something. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What is it? You know more about it than I do. It's like a fountain cup, but you can do their freestyle machines with all the special drinks. Oh boy, for like we, 350 or something. We about to get crazy. We'll Should see you soon. Know. Chicken Guy is located right next to Planet Hollywood, right off the far right hand side of the Orange Garage. So if you're coming to get some chicken, the Chicken Guy, if it's good, that's where you want to park. It's the best oh way. Oh my goodness, Chicken Guy's got a long line. A long old line, but guess what? It's going to be worth it. It's going to be delicious. I'm excited. Crap, it's even longer than I thought it was. Sweet God, this is going to be a pain. Quick pit stop real quick because Stargazer Lounge has a happy, really hour. For happy hour. But we're here today, so we're going to do it, and then we're headed over. There's a long line over there right now, so we're going to kill a few minutes and get boozed up before we go over there. That means our view will be even more fun. Possible <laughs> swear words coming. Okay, I'm just kidding. Stargazers. Happy hour. Seven days a week, four to seven. Shazam. Right, you're witnessing a very rare sight today. You're witnessing me drinking beer. Never do this. I have maybe two beers a year. Yeah. I am not a beer person at all. Not a fan in the least. But summer ale is good. I can do summer ale. Ugh, not my favorite. Been in line for 20 minutes or so. We're not inside yet. We're not getting terrible. there. We're getting there. There's three groups ahead of us. But uh, it's, it's, it's opening day for God's sake. Of course, it's going to be busy. But if it's a con, it's all Made it in, and wow, this is a really cool restaurant. Open air kitchen, you can see what's going on. The sauce slinger's back. This is really, really cool. I like the aesthetic of this a lot. I haven't tried the food yet, I was thinking it was still lying, but this place looks freaking awesome. And this is the first Chicken Guy restaurant in the world. We're, we're part of we're a part of history. So Let's get clucked up. They said they're trying Yeah, they, sorry, say it again. I cut you off. They're trying to bring them elsewhere. So. Yeah. This is the first one ever. And we're here on the opening day. We're a part of history. Oh, well, they wrap their chicken sandwiches like in and out. They do. Look at all these happy people. Making chicken for me to eat so good. Oh, it's the sauce slinger. He's back at it. Killing the game. That dude is legit. So many sauce choices. I actually don't even know what to get. I'm kind of panicking. There's too many choices. Part of me says go with number eight, the bourbon brown sugar barbecue. Part of me says go with the blue cheese and number 10. But my heart of hearts is saying go with the peri peri sauce, number 19 and the habanero hot sauce. Those are probably the two that I'm gonna go with. If I had to pick one, I'm probably gonna go habanero. But cool design, I love it. Very cool idea. Oh man, we going to Flavor Town. Here it is and all this chicken guy glory. Holy crap, this looks incredible. We went with the meals because you get fries and we ordered extra mac and cheese and some pickle chips that are coming. And we got garlic parmesan, creamy buffalo, habanero and the peri peri sauce which i'm very excited to try all right so let's we just left chicken guy and thoughts i'm ready to go back <laughs> yeah let's go right back now it was really 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 good i'm really impressed with it um it was it's the best chicken on property mm -hmm. like as far as like chicken fingers go 100 percent is the best like, there's not even a close second um, expectations were like here, but well, then... I, I kind of, I honestly had a little, had high expectations because everyone's been saying how good it was. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's probably really, really good. I was blown away by how good it was. I mean, we knocked out like nine sauces. We did the peri peri sauce. We did the mango habanero. I keep saying mango Butter habanero. Ranch. Buttermilk ranch. Habanero. Um, Parmesan garlic. Parmesan garlic. Blue cheese. Was we knocked out a bunch of sauces, and they're all incredible. The one that I liked the least was probably the mango. Uh, I keep saying mango. The habanero. 
mango, mango habaneros are the thing at Buffalo Wild Wings that I always get. Um, so that's why I keep saying it. But the, it wasn't like saucy. It was like a like a glaze almost. What do you think? But all the other you sauces were like sandwich. the peri peri sauce is oh, amazing. It is so good. Wow. What was your favorite? Buffalo, I have to say, it was one of the best, best buffalo sauces buffalo. I've ever had. Yeah, it was really, really good. So, but the staff was just everybody was so nice. Yeah, we, we forgot to order one thing we wanted to try, and we asked the guy if we could go back up and order it, and he goes, I'll bring it, bring to, it to you. you. We're and like, we got, You sure? So yeah, so we got to try the pickle chips. Yeah, the, 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 the two things, the two weakest things that we tried were the the pickle chips, which is like I, I thought it was really like pick, like chips oh, with really? pickle. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking like fried. I wasn't thinking like fried pickles. Um, Mac and cheese. The mac and, and cheese was. No, don't waste your time. Like for a kids meal, it's good. And Ooh, I love okay. mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah it, it was fine. It wasn't great, but it was fine. We um, need to get it again. I, was just, I was just about to say I wouldn't get it again. Glad we tried it. Yeah, I I would kind of hold back on that. Yep. Uh, let us try it, and you not have to waste money on it because it was fine. You're not gonna miss. You're not gonna regret not getting it. Um, but the chicken fingers were big sizes. All white meat. Really, really good. High, good quality. Can't recommend enough. You should definitely come give it a shot. It's Disney Springs, right next to Planet Hollywood, right across from the Coke Bar. Where are we going next? Let's go. Look at this view. Unbelievable. Look at the view of the line at Chicken Guy. Holy crap. If you've never been to the Coke Bar, you have to come and try it out at least once. It is so cool to see all this stuff up here. It's a nice little rooftop bar. I really, I really, really dig it. Oh my God. In the fountain. So amazing. What in the hell? How did I not know that existed? We were talking about this yesterday on Twitter. That is crazy. There it is again. How did I not know that this peanut thing with Coke was a thing? I, I don't understand where I've been. Look, paper straw. All right, what did you get? Uh, what did I get? Cherry Coke Ripper. Yeah, what is in, what is in the Cherry Coke Ripper? Paper straw. It's already happening. Ziploc is taking over. Is it good? Is it a lot of booze? Rum, cherry coke, which I don't taste any coke in there, and cherry bourbon. <laughs> Evan Williams cherry bourbon, which I actually really like for flavored bourbon. It's like straight up rum. There's cherry coke in that? That is really aggressive. I think they forgot to put it in there. I think you're right. It's like clear. That's intense. Look, there's a cherry coke layer that's right yeah, there. Yeah, it's layered, you can see. So I do want to talk about the freestyle machine thing. We were under the impression that all of the flavors, the international flavors, would be in that freestyle machine. Now that is my fault for assuming that. However, when you do the Coca-Cola freestyle experience, you only get the things in the freestyle and it's a normal freestyle machine. Um, but they were nice enough to give me Inca-Cola when I asked, but that's the only reason I got it, because I love Inca-Cola. So just so you know, and I should have known. It is just a regular Coca-Cola freestyle machine. So there's that. Um, I guess, you know what? Let's wrap this video up. How's that sound? We're enjoying the rest of our night here at Disney Springs. Beautiful Disney Springs. You get your lips off my Inca Cola. All right? No more cherry and splash of Coke. <laughs> I'd like a, a Jack the, what was it called? Cherry Coke and Ripper. Hold the cherry Coke. And that's, yeah, that's you. That's you saying that too, so that must be really aggressive. Look how, look, you know how dark Coke is? Look how light that is. It's like clear. It's hard, it looks darker it on the screen. That is aggressive. You like maraschino here. I do like maraschino. Ah. Woo. Cherry's good. I used to do something we haven't done in a while. I know, it's been a while since we've done this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this. Go try Chicken Guy. Come up to the Coke Bar, grab a drink, have a good night. And we're looking at Disney Springs, which is incredibly beautiful in the, in the evening time. And we'll see you next time. Click subscribe, click like, share this video with your friends, and go try Chicken Guy and get some sauces from the Sauce Slinger. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. I bid you adieu.